Russia's propaganda machine is in full swing. Moscow's Ministry of Defence showing missiles and attack helicopters firing somewhere in Ukraine. Yes. Russian President Vladimir Putin appeared in public for the first time since the mutiny, delivering a late-night address to the nation. The organisers of the rebellion betrayed their country. They wanted Russian soldiers to kill each other, to kill civilians, so that in the end Russia would lose and our society would split and choke in bloody civil strife. He said he let the uprising go on for as long as it did to avoid bloodshed. And he summoned his security chiefs, including his defence minister, in a clear signal Sergei Shoigu hasn't been sacked. The Wagner mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigozhin had been blaming him for failures in Russia's military campaign when the rebellion began. Mr Prigozhin hasn't been seen since striking the deal with the Kremlin to stop his fighters marching on Moscow. It's not clear where he is now, but he posted an audio message saying he wasn't trying to overthrow the presidency of Vladimir Putin. The goal of our march was to prevent the destruction of Wagner and to bring those who made a huge number of mistakes during the special military operation to justice. He acknowledged his mercenaries killed Russian pilots during their advance on the capital. But Prigozhin said there was no choice because Moscow's planes were attacking them with bombs and missiles. Russian military bloggers are claiming 13 pilots were killed a figure that has not been verified. It was all smiles when Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met with troops on the eastern front lines. He didn't mention the drama in Russia, which may be far from over. Steve Kinane, ABC News.